Hello and welcome to Lorefat Gaming Plays, Neverwinter, I'm your host Lorefat and this is Neverwinter Chronicles video, we're in the Jasm still, this time we're doing some questions including the quenching the flames, as always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, do not forget to hit the notification bell so we'll be updated and more. Clanky, what is it this time? Knock it off Clanky, on with the questing! The fight against the creatures of the chasm goes poorly. Their numbers seem limitless, while we are so few. Scar Company is a grim unit, but a proud one. We bore our company colors bravely into battle, but lost them in the fight when we were nearly overwhelmed. The loss of that banner feels like a personal insult to every soldier in this command. It would be a great boost to our faltery morale if you could recover it. If you manage to recapture the banner, Bring it here and raise it on the flagpole above the battlements. But be forewarned, the place where it now lies is guarded by some of the most formidable creatures we have yet faced. Every failure of duty diminishes Torm, and every success adds to his luster. Many Scar Company soldiers fell in our counteroffensive, and their bodies were not recovered. Every surviving member of the company feels the shame of leaving slain comrades behind. Those soldiers deserve a proper funeral. I've asked Lieutenant Trull for permission to lead a recovery detail, but he is unwilling to risk the living for the sake of the dead. If the bodies were clearly marked and prepared for recovery, I am certain Lieutenant would allow a group of volunteers to recover the remains. I can supply you with marker flags and shrouds. Will you use them to mark our fallen comrades? I've served in a lot of units, no doubt about it. This one's the finest. You ain't got the stink of the plague changed on you, so I assume you're here to help. You arrived too late to join our counter-offensive against the creatures of the chasm. Consider yourself lucky. We did pretty well at first, but then they brought up a pack of those Nothic brutes. Those beasties smashed our lines to pieces and cut down our spellcasters. Only a handful of us managed to retreat to this position. Now it looks like the enemy's gathering for an attack on the fort. We'll be hard pressed to resist them, especially if they have a strong force of Nothic brutes in their vanguard. If you really want to help out, hunt down some Nothic brutes. Time to kill some ugly looking bad guys like these fools. Well, guess what, big fella? You can't die. Woo! Better get out of the way. I do not want to get blasted. Bla bad idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and look for your friends where they're at. Let me see where they are. Oh, you're being sneaky. That is not good. Ah, oh, great. Intellect of ours. That's not good. Well, you're gone. So long. This is really boring. You're doing boring work. Come on. Let's just get out of here and go home. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I'll be quiet.
Oh, look at that. More of them. Well, guess what? I'm going to kill you all, you ugly looking things. Shooting your eyes with some kind of beam or something. That is not good. Well, I destroyed you. You know what? Your friends, they're going to die too. Hack you all into pieces. Leave you on the ground. So this way more of your friends see you and they run. Yeah, you should have all ran. Nope, you're causing trouble and problems. And that should do it. Oh, well, I should have done better. Let's go ahead and look for more trouble. Now we gotta look for that flag. Oh look, there's a big ugly thing. That is seriously ugly. Yeah, it's throwing things. Also, it brought friends too. You know what? Yeah, your friends are gonna definitely uh, die. That's one. Ooh, I better get out of the way. That was a close one. And let me go uh, try to kill you. Yeah, you know what? You're big, you're ugly, you're guarding the flag, you're gonna die horribly, and I'm gonna get paid. Yeah, those things from the sky you just did. Big mistake. So long and goodbye. All right, you two. As soon as I get some loot and more, we're going to go ahead and grab the flag. Yeah, Clanky, I know. Go ahead and grab it. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. And there, let's go back and get our reward. Now, let's uh, go ahead and put this flag up. There, that is very perfect. It looks really nice. You know what? It's time to get our gold, and hopefully we leave this area. Hey, I want my gold. I was able to catch a glimpse of you in action from here. Best thing I've seen while on guard duty for a long, long time. I'm impressed. You've given us a fighting chance to hold this position. We're all obliged to you. Rewards given, for abomination slain. That is welcome news. Our fallen brothers will soon receive their last rites and a proper funeral pyre. Thank you, and may the blessings of Torm and Ilmater be upon you always. That banner is more than a piece of cloth. It represents hope to every member of this company. By recovering it, you've helped restore our fighting spirit. We're ready to soldier on now. The entire company salutes you. The plague-changed creatures we face are formidable, but their lack of organization has always given us a small advantage. But now that advantage has been lost. When we launched our attack against the Plague Changed, we discovered they were being controlled by a creature called Trokar the Firestarter. Trokar is a potent spellcaster and savvy enough in the ways of war to control the mob of chaotic creatures he commands. 
our scouts report he has taken up residence in the ruins just north of here. If we hope to halt the advance of the Plague Changed, Trokar must be eliminated. The Plague Changed threaten the sanctuary. Hello, bad guys! I'm here. I'm gonna raid your joint, take all your loot and more. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead. Praise Torm. There you go. Oh, that fire is dangerous. You know what? I'm much more dangerous. Guess what, Flowing Eye? You're gonna die horribly, and you're a uh, buddy too. I don't know what that thing is. Still, you're gonna get hurt very badly. I'm gonna chop you into pieces, make your day horrible, and more. And I believe I saw an eye. Let's uh, grab that too. Yep, there's the eye. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stab it with my sword. And it can't see me. Well, let's uh, do that. So long and good riddance. Now, I see some foes. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take them all on. Yeah, I could definitely do it. Uh-oh. Looks like that is too many. You know what? I'll be able to fight my way out. I got this. Come on, bad guys. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to murder you. Woo. Come on, potion. I still got to make sure that, uh, you know, it's ready. It's still not ready. That is good. Not good at all. 
Uh oh, looks like I'm in trouble. Thanks a lot, Cedric. Ah, uh, he just fell down. I am so free. I get to have my show. I get to do whatever I want. Guess what, Cedric? You're bound to this human for all eternity, not one death. Many, many of them. That's right, you're with them forever. Well, that shut you up. Now, let's go ahead and do that again, this time without falling down. Yeah, guess what? I'm just going to go ahead and just chop you all into pieces. You all made me very angry. Yeah, that's two of you down already. Oh, look at that. There's more of your friends. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to kill them too. They all deserve to die. These flowing eyes, weird looking creatures, even the big one. Whoever your boss is, I'm going to pay him a nice visit or her a visit. We'll find out who this boss is still. You're all gone, and so long, and goodbye. And after I kill you, let's go ahead and look for more loot. Oh, there you are. Try to throw flames at me. Oh, that is a big mistake. And, oh, good thing you don't have reinforcements. That's very good. And you're tossing fire at me on the ground. That's not nice. And you're trying to get away. Ooh, I better get out of the way. Otherwise, yeah, I would have been burnt to a crisp. And I'm going to destroy you. I'm not going to use up my power-ups. Nope. I'm going to just slice you, murder you. After that, you're next again. Yeah, they're going to feel it too. Oh boy, you're just getting ridiculous now. And you should have just ran. Instead, you didn't. And now you're going to pay the price. Yeah, a huge price. So long and goodbye. And what's this? Okay, it's just seals. That's all right. That's fine. And ooh, a treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that is a nice helmet. I think I'm going to go ahead and just wear it. It's really too nice not to wear it. And voila, I look good. Now let's uh, definitely go back and get our reward. So where is this person? Hey, guess what? I want Hazard paid for this. The fight against the creatures of the chasm goes poorly. Well done. That's one less chasm spawned monstrosity to deal with. We have a squad deeper in the chasm guarding a sun elf sorcerer named Quorthon, who is studying the spell plague. He sends word he has gained insight into the true nature of the chasm and requires further assistance. Quorthon created and maintains the magic portals that allow us to move around the chasm. His research is vital to our mission. Follow the road down slope from Fort Precipice. You'll come to the first portal. Activate it, and you'll travel to an earth moat where you can find Quorthon. Best to remember the good times, don't you think? You wouldn't know it today, but Private Mara Talaran was once a real heartbreaker. 
She was the toast of Neverwinter, with a crowd of suitors around her. Then she became Spellscarred. She's bitter about the way her life turned out. It's gotta be hard for someone who was once so beautiful to change like that. I'd like her to remember what it's like to be adored, even for a moment. Would you pick some of the rift roses that grow around here and take them to her down at the scrying tower? Just tell her they're from an admirer. Oh, look at that. This human's picking flowers. Isn't that funny? Ah, oh, come on. Don't hit me. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, okay. You can pick them all what you want. Also, kill bad guys, too. I'm very, very sorry. Now, let's uh, go ahead and look for more of these. All right, I found the very last ones. There, I did my good deed for the day. Let's turn this all in.
Well, I uh, did it. I made it to the other side in one piece. Hey, where's my reward? We thought we could cleanse the chasm on our own. We were wrong. Hero would willingly pass this gate, which are you, I wonder. What? Flowers? This is sick of junk. Swear off. No, wait, it's all right. I'll tell you. Myra, you say? Hmm, that's nice. Spell plague energies are building. We must act quickly. Welcome, my friend. As a wizard, I have a keen interest in all things arcane, and the spell plague is no exception. I've gained some insights into the nature of these strange energies during my time here in the chasm. Perhaps we can help each other with our respective goals. Looks like our barbarian hero and his two little friends have survived the chasm and many of its horrors. Even though our barbarian friend fell down once, Cedric got abused a lot, and Clanky is still Clanky. In our next Neverwinter Chronicles video, we're going to go deeper in the chasm. Well, everyone, this is it for my Neverwinter 2021 MMO Chronicles, the chasm quenching the flames, and much, much more. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.